Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see simple example of SQL injection and we will see how we can prevent the SQL injection or how we can take preventive measures so that we can have a secure web app. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, before I begin you guys, I trust you that this video is only for educational reason and from completely ethical purpose. The purpose of this video is just to show you some demonstration of SQL injection so that how you can write a secure web applications and prevent most of the basic malicious attacks. So please take this video from the ethical point of view and please a kind request please do not use it for any malicious purpose. Okay so to begin with here we have a simple URL where or a route where we have forward slash user and we are taking a route or a URL parameter in that which is name. So suppose if I pass name here Adi, I should see a record of user with name Adi. If I pass Aditya, I should see a record of user with name Aditya. Now behind the scene in our database, we have two records, that's great. But sometimes you might have multiple records. And let's say you have, let's assume that we don't have two, but let's say we have thousands of records or 200 thousands of records now we want to keep our database as secure as possible but what happens with SQL injection is your database can be destroyed with just one SQL statement or one malicious query so what it does like how it works is the attacker writes a malicious code it could be an SQL query or it could be some malicious string that goes straight to your database or runs straight to your SQL queries through your SQL queries and that ex either exposes your database to the attacker or it uh, get, gives your that attacker an entry point to your database to insert some malicious data to further destroy it. So it's kind of like very dangerous and nightmare kind of thing. So to avoid that we could take very 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 simple preventive measures and one of them is writing a parameterized query. So let me show you before like how or what happens if we don't write parameterized query and how we can expose this entire database to the uh, attacker so let's say some attacker comes to your website now this is a fast api endpoint so of course this will be either taken from a mobile or a web app now let's say you have a website maybe in the react view which is using this fast api and then you're passing the details now here you're like the app is passing details to your fast API. Now here, let's say this is your input form, though it is not, but let's assume it is input form. Here, that attacker puts the name. Okay, he puts the name like this. Okay, that's great. Now let's say that attacker write certain string in your form. Let's say it write he or she, whosoever it is, they write something like this. Or then one equal to one, then something like this and if they hit execute look at this guys we have exposed all our database records to the attacker with just one malicious statement so let's see what is happening behind the scene so behind the scene okay we have the fast api code that's great where we have the connection where we create a first or database connection then we initiate the cursor object of it and then once we have the cursor we can use that cursor to execute the query or execute the database or uh, SQL queries then once the uh, SQL queries is SQL queries executed we just uh, say like whether we want to get all the records or one records or something like that so we say to the cursor okay fetch all the records which matches this SQL query we get the records and we close the connection after that and here we are printing the SQL statement that is being constructed and we just return the records so very very simple code now here let's see what query is being written so if I show you like it says select star from users where name equal to blank or one equal to one and then don't know <laughs> Okay, let me tell you what is this don't know part is. This don't know part is nothing but the attacker is commenting all of the further SQL statement. So let me give you an, another example. But before that, let's understand this part because this one is also kind of like uh, important, but let's understand this most important part. Now what's happening here is 
if you know the basic of SQL in the where clause we pass certain con conditions and whichever condition is true only those or whichever wherever the condition becomes true those records are fetched so what's happening here is we are saying okay from users table get all the records where name equal to blank or one equal to one that means this is gonna become true because one is equal to one and as we have a separation here like this so what's happening here is it is saying where name equal to blank or true so in general this entire thing is gonna become true so we are saying select stars from users where true or select stars from user and that all the records of the users are being retrieved just because of this one or condition because in SQL you can also have or and and operators so as this or is coming over here in picture and get making all of this as true because of that your attacker is seeing all of those records now let's say that we have additional queries here let's say we have something like and email equal to uh, let's say same in the same pattern percent s and here we are taking let's say a hard-coded value for now but let's assume it is coming from the front end let's say this is the hard-coded value for now and if we now execute the statement again so if I go over here and let's say I execute this again you will see I will still see the records like the record of the user where this is uh, there now if I want to further stall this and get all the records I can put a colon or a semicolon here and if I execute this uh, okay, this should be space and there we go we are seeing records like everything is being seen the reason being this thing over here this double hyphen is nothing but a comment in SQL so if I show you how the statement looks like behind the scenes so this is our statement as you could see it terminates here and rest everything is being commented so this double hyphen sign is just literally ignoring your other parts of the queries so because of that even if you have additional condition your attacker can still get all those records now how we can avoid this like how we can avoid that this big like this security threat could be avoid it in general or this attack could be prevented in general well with very 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 basic and very 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 simple solution which is parameterized queries so what I'm gonna do is I'll just write here malicious query and I'll just comment this out and here I will write another one as a safe query I would say again this is not 100% safe because we are still not doing here input validation or we are not checking whether the name is with some alphanumeric string or what the string we are uh, asking for and the email is also an email string so we are not doing this kind of input validation but as we are doing something like uh, as it's just an execute query and we are now using parameterized query we can still avoid this attack to certain extent now let's say we just copy this from here because the query is going to be very minute change if I just do here remove this single quotes from here and here and instead of this percent symbol I will just use comma now what's happening here is this is becoming more of a parameterized query where whatever value you will pass will be escaped and will be treated as a literal string so let me show you what I mean by literal string so if I run this query now execute we should see an empty array uh, oh sorry I should press spacebar here and let's do it again there we go nothing is received because now this has become like a value of that name rather than blank van name and then or condition and so on why now if I show you behind the scene you will see here we have the actual query now if you notice this part like this okay let me make it bigger so if you notice this part over here like this part till this part it's actually one entire string because 
certain characters like those quotes are being escaped with backslash so the the parameterized query or when you write a parameterized query it use escape characters to escape certain characters and it makes the entire thing as a literal string so if I go back over here again and show you how it looks like so this will look something like this so if we just copy from there like this and so from a layman's perspective I'll show you how it looks like so it looks like something like this uh, select star from user that's great now if I remove these things so it becomes something like this now in our database we don't have any user who has name as or one equal to one colon like whose name spelling is not like this so because of that it is returning null so that's the power of parameterized queries and that's the very main reason whenever you write SQL queries always make sure you escape the characters and also make sure that you always always write as a parameterized query so that you can prevent most of the malicious attacks so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button because it helps a lot for the channel to grow if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so that's all again in this video see you in the next video till the next time goodbye